This low key might be my wedding scent. Mona, you did your thing, girl. You really did your thing. I give you your props. Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada Simone. You're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? So besties, I did in fact secure the goods. I am super duper excited. I was able to cop the new Kaeli wedding collection, both fragrances, the day that it dropped and it literally came in like three days. I know I'm super late recording this video. I know I'm super late filming this, but I really just wanted to take my time and really date the fragrances and give you guys my raw and honest opinions and exactly how I feel. And if I feel like you guys should go out and get these, but without further ado, let's just hop right into this review so my fragrances just came in this regular brown box it was wrapped beautifully but my family came over and i was super excited to show them because whenever i have new fragrances in my collection i'll just be so giddy i couldn't wait to do like a full unboxing which i kind of regret but it's fine because my family really liked them but yeah they were wrapped really nice in this black tissue paper that of course layla tore to shreds we just have both fragrances and the packaging on these guys is so beautiful like oh my goodness so we have silk santal which is the fragrance that mona created for their wedding and we also have velvet santal which is the fragrance that her husband created and santal or sandalwood is the common note in these fragrances mona says that it was inspired by sudanese culture and that they wear a lot of santal or sandalwood for weddings so that's why she really wanted to incorporate it because her husband is sudanese so that's a really great fun fact and i feel like that was just so sentimental and such a nice touch so these are in fact limited edition i honestly don't know if these are sold out yet i know they did drop on sephora a few days after they dropped on hudabeauty.com so you can check sephora as well but since these are limited edition i was gonna get the small version i think the small version of each is like 27 dollars or something like that i was gonna get the small version but i was like i might like these and they're limited edition they might not ever come back so i have to get the full size so so I did get the full size in both fragrances and both of these fragrances do retail for $100 each but since this was my first time purchasing on the hudabeauty.com website I think I did get 15% off so I didn't spend $200 on the fragrances I think at most I spent $170 so that was really great shout outs to me because I usually always buy my fragrances on Sephora so I'm glad I checked Huda Beauty first and another fun fact is that the number associated with each Kaeli scent apparently correlates to the number of tries they took to get the fragrance right however with this collection and number associated with these fragrances correlate to the ages that mona and her husband were when they got married so mona i think was 36 yes so silk santal 36 mona was 36 when they got married and velvet santal 35 her husband was 35 when they got married so i feel like that was just like a super duper cute sentimental touch again i'm living for this collection already so let's just talk about packaging first off the boxes that they come in i always love the kaoli boxes i feel like mona really does that all around with the whole kaoli brand like the boxes are always top tier and i hate throwing them away but honestly i don't think i'm gonna throw these away she really added cute little touches to these boxes in particular so like on each box there's like little like designs on the corner and the velvet santal has velvet lining the box around it so i felt like that was really cute and both fragrances are intense and on the back of each box are the key notes so i thought that was amazing so let's get into opening these so when you open the silk santal you just have the beautiful fragrance y'all this is just so beautiful and i've always said that the kaoli fragrances like the top of them give me like ring vibes like engagement ring vibes but like this really gives me engagement ring vibes like it's literally the wedding collection but i love the frosted glass it's so elegant i love the design on the front it's kind of giving me like rhinestones like how a wedding dress would be like all decked out and applique and rhinestones super cute super classy i really love this super cute super classy i feel like this would be perfect to feature in your wedding photos definitely perfect obviously for a wedding fragrance but definitely cute to have in your photos while you're getting ready when you do like those behind the scenes images i feel like those are really pop and also on the back of the fragrances the keynotes are listed as well and then 
opening velvet santal you have the matte black bottle but this also has detailing on the front that i feel like is so sleek and sophisticated but it just adds a nice touch this bottle honestly really does give me like groomsmen suit and tie so sleek sophisticated i really like it and again the notes on the back so let's get into the notes so for silk santal the top notes are champagne freesia and black currant the middle notes are praline nectarine jasmine orange blossom and may rose and the base notes are vanilla sugar musk sandalwood amberwood and oak moss and you guys when i tell you guys this is the perfect wedding fragrance for spring and summer weddings it's so soft so sweet so elegant it definitely screams spring summer to me in my opinion but you definitely do get the freesia at least on my skin I definitely do smell the freesia. The nectarine definitely pulls through on my skin and that praline. It's a very elegant scent. Like on my skin, it pulls very sweet, musky, sugary, vanilla -y, nectar -y. Like, I don't know. I'm getting all of those and it just smells so amazing on me. Like I literally, as I'm talking and moving my hands, like, oh, the scent is so intoxicating. I feel like the champagne definitely makes it pop and really makes it stand out. And all the notes together really tie it well. It's just such a very beautiful scent. I feel like I don't have a lot of scents that are just pretty. Just pretty, elegant, beautiful, all that in a bottle. That is what this fragrance is. All right, so now let's get into the notes of Velvet Santal. So the top notes are tea and jasmine. The middle notes are white musk and cedarwood. And the base notes are benzoin and sandalwood. And compared to Silk Santal's notes, these notes are very simple. But this fragrance is very simple. Like, I definitely get skin scent from this. It's very skin-like, very musky, very powdery, but very sexy. Like, I love this it's just very warm woody ambery spicy but very subtle it's not a very loud and out there scent and i like it because it definitely complements silk santal very well like i feel like these definitely complement each other so well like she's the showstopper she's very beautiful very elegant she's not doing too much but you know she's in the room and then he comes in and he just matches her fly compliments her energy and lets her take over the room i love it it definitely does give wedding so as far as first impressions like i said when i first opened these my family was here and everybody was so obsessed with these fragrances the only thing is my first impression of velvet santal was that i couldn't really smell it at first i was like mm, but i think it's because i smelled silk santal first and that kind of overpowered my senses it definitely did give me skin scent the more i let it sit on me and i definitely did start to fall in love with it but what i can say about silk santal is it is femininity in a bottle and i do feel like velvet santal is masculinity in a bottle it is a unisex scent but i feel like it does lean more towards masculine but in a good way not in a bad overpowering cologne way and as far as longevity i've definitely been wearing silk santal out because like i said i wanted to marry these fragrances and really give you guys an honest review and this definitely does last eight plus hours on me all day i'm smelling it in the hot heat like i've gone out on girls days for eight plus hours with my friends or to work and i just smell this all day long and people ask me what i have on and i put them on i'm just obsessed with this like i'm really trying not to od on this because this low-key might be my wedding scent and i can't use all of it before i get proposed to and married to like it's just it's not gonna come back it's limited edition i gotta chill out but i am very obsessed with this low-key i might try to cop a backup because it's just really like that especially because i'm so obsessed with kaali fragrances like the ones that i do have already have huge dents so i'm really trying to lay off of this but mona you did your thing girl you really did your thing i give you your props and as far as velvet santal i have been wearing this to bed surprisingly i like nice calm soothing scents kind of like a warm hug and i feel like this is what that gives me it gives me very calm soft 
powdery not doing too much and just soothing i really like this and again the longevity is a plus hours because i'll spray it after my shower chill out eat dinner watch my tv shows and then go to bed hours later i'm sleep for six to eight hours and get up and i still smell it on me like this I definitely definitely recommend the only thing I haven't done yet is layer the two together which I feel like I might do tomorrow when I go to work and I'll let you guys know in like a YouTube short how I like it but guys if you knew better you would do better and cop both of these I promise you like I like these really might be my wedding scents unless I curate my own fragrance and I have my man curate his own fragrance and those might be our wedding scents it's gonna give a little Mona and her husband type moment but for now these are locked in with me <laughs> I definitely do feel like these are the perfect signature scents. Like I said, Velvet Santal is very skin-like, very sexy. And I feel like it would smell amazing on men and women because different body chemistries definitely pull out different notes. And then Silk Santal, I think she's... I'm really trying not to make her my signature scent because then I'm going to be mad when I run out. But yeah, besties, so that is all for today's review. I hope you guys liked it and I definitely hope you guys go out and purchase these fragrances. And if you have them already, let me know in the comments down below how you guys like them because I'm obsessed, clearly. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!